Somewhere out there is the uh, baby AR wing flying blind on a waypoint mission. Oh, hang on. I can hear it. There it goes. <laughs> Success. It's just flown itself. Um, about a 12 kilometer mission and uh, there's no FPV on this it's purely recording HD on the uh, on the drone or plane wing whatever we're gonna call it which I'll upload soon uh, better take over now and land it though hey everyone I'm just going to give you a quick overview of um, using the mission control in iNav Configurator to set up your waypoint flights and uh, a little trick I use to ensure that uh, you've always got uh, good ground clearance at always, uh, sorry, at all points along the flight. So if you just click across to mission control and the first thing we need to do is zoom in and select our home point we're going to be taking off from. So that's going to be around here. So we click on these two little mountains here and then click on the blue crosshairs that will bring up a home point and we can just drag that to where we're going to be taking off from. The other thing we want to do is click on the use sea level earth DEM model and this will then show our waypoints um, above the um, topography of the ground which will become important which we'll see later. So the first waypoint we need to select needs to be within a thousand meters of our takeoff position uh, that's just a safety precaution and we can then just plan the rest of the route. So we're going to fly uh, over these mountains, down this little valley, along the river, and uh, we'll just drag this one over here, uh, yeah, along the river, and then back towards home. And uh, so we've got a nice little flight here, and this is a 30 and a half kilometer flight. So this would be a good test flight, really. Nothing too strenuous, uh, but a good test of uh, <laughs> making sure we're doing this correctly. Now if we click on waypoint 1, you can see all these altitudes are set at 100 meters, and that's actually the altitude above our takeoff position. So it's not above ground level, it's above the takeoff point. And that will become important because you can see there that the ground distance here is showing as 111 meters. That's because the ground is slightly lower than where we took off from. So we'll see why that matters soon. Uh, and we'll also see why waypoint 3 is not quite showing the correct distance. Um, all will become apparent soon, but waypoint 4, you can see there, at waypoint 4, the ground there is actually higher um, than our takeoff position, so the clearance to the ground is only 43 metres. So although it's 100 metres above our takeoff point, it's only going to be 43 metres above the ground. So if we scroll down, what we can see here is basically a side view of the land that we're going to be flying over, our topography. And what we can clearly see uh, along the middle there is that between waypoint 3 and 4 we're going to hit into the side of a hill. So around about this point here it's going to smack into the side of a hill. Uh, which obviously is not what we want at all. <laughs> so what we'll need to do is adjust these heights and uh, we can do that quite easily. So we'll just scroll back up and click on waypoint 1 and what we need to do is just click sea level reference and you'll see that this figure will change the ground distance. So sea level reference has now changed the altitude so that it's actually 100 meters above the ground not 100 meters above our takeoff point. Waypoint 2 will do the same thing so the ground the distance has changed. Waypoint 3 done the same thing and if we scroll down we can see that waypoint 3 has now gone higher to ensure that we've got the clearance and you'll notice that it's not 100 meters it's 209 meters because it's not the distance straight down it's the distance to where the ground is so that's why that height is is, is different um, if that makes sense sea level uh, for reference 4 so that's got a bit higher now so we're clearing that mountain range and what we might want to do is actually add another waypoint um, between the two but we can come back to that so let's increase to 100 meters altitude let's go to waypoint six 
so it's going to change a little bit as well. 8.7, that's only 101 meters, so that's only changed it by a meter. And waypoint 5, I'm actually going to drop this height down to 50 meters altitude because I just want to have a nice linear descent towards home. So there we are. So it's going to drop down now to, to 50 meters at the point that it uh, reaches home. So it'll be a nice downwards uh, descent to the landing point. And we can see that on the overview here. So we've got our clear line here, altitude. We can see at all points we're going to be clearing the ground. So this is a nice way of basically doing a sanity check to ensure that all things going right, we're not going to hit anything. Now, as I said before, we might add another little waypoint in here, just so we can bump up the height a bit to um, ensure we've got really good clearance. So we just click on the blue line there, and you can see all the numbers change to um, represent the extra waypoint we've added in. And what we need to do here, of course, is click on that sea level reference. That should do here. So sea level reference, and that will bump up the height. That's probably a little bit high, so I'm going to just drop that height down a little bit as well. So we just go up here and we can then click on, let's say, put two, two four in. So, and that's just dropped down. So that looks quite, quite sensible now. So at all points here, we've got good clearance to the ground. We're not going to be hitting into anything. We're not going to be getting too close and we're not going crazily high either. This can also help conserve battery because at no point are we just flying ridiculously high for the duration of the flight. We can actually climb up when we need to and then descend down. So we're out of the strong winds and closer to the ground, um, which also makes some nicer footage as well. So hopefully that gives you a nice overview of how to, how to sort of set up your missions. Um, and I'm just going to give you a quick overview now of the, the plane which is of course the Baby AR Wing Pro. Inside, underneath the bird's nest of wiring, we have a Matek F405 WSC flight controller. This is running IVAB7 uh, RC3. And uh, we have also in there a Hobbywing X-Rotor 30 amp BSC, which is probably a little bit overkill for this, but it's what I had in the parts bin, so in it went. For the battery, I've just made a pack using uh, 21700 Molycell uh, P42As. And this is just a 3S1P arrangement, so 4,200 milliamps, uh, which is plenty. And uh, it, it sort of sits in this battery cage I printed, so it always yeah, hits the right CG and just clips in nicely. The propeller is a APC 4.5, uh, sorry, 5.5 by 4.5, and, and the motor is a DYS 1806 uh, 2300 kV. For the control link, I've just got uh, ELRS. This is the Happy Model EP1 diversity uh, with the antennas stuck in the wing there just to keep it nice and streamlined and uh, now we'll get on to the flight so you can see how it all comes together so this is just after launch i've done a very quick auto tune um, probably not really long enough to make any changes to the pits which is why it's still a bit shaky um, when I've got a bit more time, I need to do a proper tune to get it really dialed in. Uh, so this, consider this to basically be untuned. And uh, but uh, we'll just bank around here, and then soon we'll switch into the mission. Uh, what was interesting is that uh, it averaged about. I'm looking at the, the telemetry, the stats. It was doing about sixty or seventy kilometers an hour, and pulling, <laughs> pulling about two and a half, three amps to do so. Um, and I worked out the whole the whole flight um, averaged 45 milliamps per um, kilometer. So that's quite impressive. Um, that's some serious range potential this has with a yeah, 4200 pack in it. So uh, this is now on the waypoint. It's a very calm day. Um, so I think the shaking we can see here is just a bad tune really uh, it just needs tweaking up it, it's more than adequate for flying it's yeah it's not dangerous it's going to stay stay in the air and uh you know i had a decent amount of throttle set for the cruise speed so at no point is it going to suddenly stop and drop out of this <laughs> drop out of the sky um, but it is a little bit shaky and we can see here now how it will actually maintain this altitude and sort of track the ground 
um, and uh, yeah I've got some points where it gets sort of lower to the ground on this mission but at no point does it really drop below about 60 or 50 to 60 meters altitude so uh, enjoy the rest of the flight <laughs> 